Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, I know I look busted right now, but I'm in my house just chilling on this beautiful Saturday. And um, yeah, I watched a Paula Patton chicken fiasco, y'all. I don't even want to say nothing on it, but she's a beautiful person. So think about saying something really nice about somebody. <laughs> the Paula Patton chicken fiasco. If you haven't watched it, I'll go ahead and put it right here. Really important, of course, one of the most important things if you're gonna cook fried chicken is you gotta clean it first. I've already cleaned some, but I got organic chicken. I'm sorry, chicken. <laughs> We're gonna eat you today. But um, I'm gonna make my mom's famous fried chicken. We'll get to just clean it with some cold water, and then we'll get to frying it. So now we put the organic flour into a Ziploc bag and you start our batches. So we just put it in a whole bunch of chicken, not too much so it coats it. And you start to like, I'm sorry we had to take it. You're so yummy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that is the end. I've got all of them in here. This is for Julian's school. And we're gonna put a lot of love into these chickens. Next is avocado oil in the pan. All right, so we gotta get a good amount, but not too much, right? You don't want, you don't wanna soak them in the fried, my fried chicken, I fry them half in the oil, and then I flip them and then I put the other half of the drumette in. So you'll see. We are about to enter step three. Now place these in. Then we're gonna begin to season it. So just wait. Just three ingredients that I use for seasoning a fried chicken. My mother's recipe, I have to put Lari seasoning salt, very important. Pepper, organic pepper. Paprika, hard to dust it with the Lari salt, right? Each chicken gets enough, maybe a little too much, because I like it a little salty. Okay, each chicken gets a nice little dose pepper and we have some paprika. All right, we'll make it to the next step now. Look, that's a good color. So these chickens are ready to go. Look at, they look pretty, they're brown, they got a little crispiness on it. And now, okay, I should have shown you, I put down some paper towels to soak up to the, um, soak up to the grease. So then that becomes chicken. <laughs> and it tastes, but this is gonna be pretty hot, but. Mm. Mm. Very good. Okay guys, so welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna fry my chicken like that today. Um, I'm actually not, I'm gonna air fry my chicken and um, yeah, so we're gonna have some fun with it, okay? So I am going to fry some chicken. It is my mother's recipe. This is how we do it, and this is how we do it. We put seasoning in the grease, and ooh, it's so yummy, it's so good. Sorry, little chicken. Sorry, little chicken, but you taste so yummy. Sorry, little chicken. So I'm gonna make some chicken in my air fryer. I am not going to use batter. I know y'all about to come at me like y'all came in Paula Patton. You're not about to do that today. No, we're not about to do that. I like to fry my chicken. I don't like all the extra batter and all that stuff. I like to taste all of my seasonings and everything. So that's what we're gonna do today. But I'm gonna show y'all how I do it, okay? So check this video out and watch it till the end. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications <laughs> and uh, yeah, go ahead and drop us a comment, okay? All right, let's get started. So first of all, we're gonna wash our chicken. We're not gonna wash it for a few seconds. We're not just gonna wash it in cold water, but we're gonna really wash the chicken, okay? Because we don't know what the chicken has been doing in a chicken plant, in a chicken plant, whatever it is. We, we don't know, we don't know the circumstances. 
We don't know the situation, okay? So we're going to wash the chicken. Paula, we're going to wash the chicken, okay? And we're not just going to use cold water. We're going to really wash these jokers. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys. So first we first up, we have a lemon. Oh, it's water dripping. I just washed it. First up, we have our lemon. We're going to cut our lemon. And we're going to use our lemon to wash and clean and purify these little chickens, all right? <laughs> so let's get it. All right, now. Okay, y'all, so what I'm working with today, I'm almost out of this, but I love using it. I just love a little Creole taste. I just love a little spice. Of course, like Paula said, we got to have the Lari's. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the Lari's. Um, I like a little cayenne pepper because I'm into spice, a little lemon pepper, just a little bit, not too much because it can make it salty. Some garlic powder and, of course, some pepper, black pepper. So, this is what I'm working with. All right. Y'all sees, y'all sees. <laughs> All right, so let's get to putting the seasoning on our bad boys. Our bad boys. <laughs> Ready to go, I'm gonna move this out the way. I'm gonna rinse off my seasoning because my hands done touched it and that's contamination, y'all. That's contamination. You touch the chicken, you touch the seasoning, you should wash off your seasoning. So I'm about to do that right now. Now I can put all my seasoning back in the cabinet because I'm done. So this is the air fryer we're using. Yep, this is it. Okay. So my next thing is I'm going to drizzle the chicken in just a hint of oil, not too much oil, just a little bit. And that just helps it not stick really crazy in the air fryer. You can use olive oil, you can use whatever kind of oil. If you don't want to use oil, you can use some spray. I guess you can use avocado oil. She ready. She ready. All right. So this is the inside of the air fryer. I don't really have to do anything because this has a little oil, so it should not stick. This is the air fryer. All right. And wash my hands again. Chickens are full of germs. Raw meat, you know? Gotta clean. Okay, so I put the chicken in the air fryer and then I'm gonna choose on my air fryer what I'm cooking. I'm cooking chicken, that's, I don't know what that is. Oh, steak, cupcakes, pizza, chicken. Hit play. Now I'm gonna clean up while we wait for everything to do what it's doing. See that mess? We gotta clean it up. Fifteen minutes or so. Looking good, y'all. This is it. This is all air fried chicken. Okay, put it back in there. Let it keep going. What I love about cooking in the air fryer is that once you put it in there, you put it on a timer, you, of course you check on it, but you can go ahead and do some other things with your life. You can get your life while it's cooking. So I'm checking some emails right now and yeah, maybe editing. I'll start editing another video. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I like about the air fryer. You put it in there, you can walk away. Not walk away forever, though. Don't get carried away. You know what I mean? Like, you can walk away, but definitely go back and check. Make sure it's not burning up or, you know, if it's cooking too fast and maybe you have it, you will have it on. That would mean you have it on the wrong temperature. So you want to make sure, you know, you keep keep an eye on it. Anything that you're cooking, you want to keep an eye on. But so just to recap, I love Paula Pat and I think she's a beautiful person. I would say this to Paula, go ahead and just air fry you some chicken. Don't even worry about no grease no more. Don't worry about frying it. Don't worry about your mama's recipe. Just go ahead and put it in the air fryer. It's a lot easier for you. It's, it's a lot easier. It's less work. You can make a lot for your kids, school, whatever you trying to do. And you ain't got to worry about seasoning grease and stuff like that. So just, just, just go ahead and try it. I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, fam, we're all done with the chicken. I actually did what I told y'all not to do. I forgot it was in there for a second, but that's okay. We all good. And I just made me some spinach because I really wanted some spinach today. So hopefully you don't get in my teeth. If I do have something great in my teeth, 
It's spinach, okay? That's it. Okay? Okay. I'm just gonna move up close. Y'all see that? It looks like baked chicken pretty much, but it's just a little bit more crispy, that's all. I'm about to say grace and I'm about to dig in. The Lord, we thank you for this food about to receive, help to be a nourish nourishment to our bodies. Take out any infirmity and beginning in Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God, amen. I was gonna say bless the hands prepared if not prepared, so. Well, bless my hands too, yes. And I'm a spinach here, so. Yeah, I really wanted some spinach today. Mm-hmm, it's good. Sorry, my chairs are making noise. I swear. <laughs> uh oh, it's this pillow. Oh. <clears throat> so y'all, I'm about to get into this chicken because I know y'all want to see what it do. First of all, let's just go ahead and open it up so you can see there is no pink color anywhere. We are good. So y'all, the chicken is not pink. It is good. It is ready to eat. Mm, mm, mm. It's really good really good. <laughs> Y'all messing with Paula though. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. I don't mess with her. I can't y'all. Y'all stop. Y'all stop. Y'all stop making me say that kind of stuff. Sorry I have to eat you. I'm gonna stop. I can't stop doing it. Y'all haven't been able to stop doing it. I promise you. Ever since I heard her talking to the chicken, Paula, that was hilarious. That was so funny. And she did it like two times. She's like, I'm sorry, you little chicken, but you're so yummy. I'm going to go ahead and finish my meal, but you guys go out and be great today. Whatever it is you do, whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you dream of doing, go out, do it, and be great today.